Vandalism doesn't have to be mindless anarchy and destruction. Some vandals have such a creative flair that, for want of a better word, their work can even make the most law-abiding citizens surely can't help but smile and say, that's clever. These are random acts of vandalism that are pure genius. Number 7. Alligator. Many of us have probably written or drawn on a dirty vehicle, but the most we can come up with is clean me. It's neither creative nor original and is more likely to annoy the owner than anything else. However, imagine if someone turned your dirty vehicle into a work of art. You'd be unlikely to be annoyed by it and would probably want to keep it there for a while. There are many examples of such artwork all over the internet and it's becoming more and more popular. One such example is an alligator that appeared on the side of a white, dirty truck. It was incredibly detailed, with shadowing, ridges and scales. We're sure the truck owner had no problem with it being there. The artwork was completed in Russia, and it's believed to be the work of the same Russian street artist who created the giant owl on the back of a truck. Nikita Golod from Moscow has a medical background, not an artistic one. However, he has been working on his art skills his whole life, and it seems to have paid off. Number 6. Ant-Man vs. Yellow Jacket Ant-Man is a 2015 thriller and science fiction movie with a master thief called Scott who can make himself really small like an ant, obviously. His arc Marvel movie nemesis is known as Yellow Jacket. The movie itself is pretty popular, but the popularity doesn't end with the film. It has made its way into the art world too. Slinkachu was tasked with launching the Little People project in 2006, which involved tiny superhero action figures positioned all around London to capture people's attention. These models were crafted by the German company Paisa, but installed and photographed by British man Slinkachu. While he wasn't all that into commercial projects, he was contacted by Marvel UK and agreed to be a part of the Ant-Man shoot. Project everyday objects like broken lampposts and grazed road bollards were chosen for the tiny figures. A bollard that had been hit by a car and sat at a precarious angle all of a sudden looked like Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket were to blame. The Londoners loved it. Number 5. Traffic Barrel Monster Traffic and construction barrels are a common sight on the roads. They are typically orange plastic barrels with white reflective stripes used to direct vehicles near construction sites. Traffic companies own them all over the United States, and they can be quite expensive, costing upwards of $100 each. However, despite their high price tag, they are an essential part of traffic management. Interestingly, traffic barrels have also become an essential component of artwork. In 2009, Joe Carnival created a traffic barrel monster that turned heads. He cut, shaped, and crafted the plastic barrels we all know so well into a tall monster with teeth arms, legs, and a terrifying gaze. The statue was present at a state fair, but it has also been spotted on city streets, much to the delight of passing motorists. However, while this random act of creativity was pure genius, it was also vandalism. Joe Carnival was arrested for his art because he stole, cut, and screwed the traffic barrels, a misdemeanor in North Carolina. Number 4. Creativity no one should put a cap on your creativity, but there may come a time where you wonder, hmm, is that creative, or is that an act of vandalism? There's a reason many people won't put their artist tag on things they have altered in the streets, and that's because, technically, it is vandalism to add your mark to something in public. Even in the name of creativity, just think of Banksy, for example. So, what falls into that gray area that's technically vandalism, but is more likely to put a smile on a police officer's face than see them pull out an arrest warrant? An example would be a blue trash can in a public place that has a wide gap for people to put their rubbish in. Someone added eyeballs and a biscuit to turn it into the cookie monster. In another instance, a billboard by ahrq.gov said, This year, thousands of men will die from stubbornness. Someone used spray paint to write, no, we won't on it, which pretty much reaffirms what they're trying to say. So, while these are random acts of vandalism, there's no denying that they are also pure genius. Number 3. How Athletic Complex It seems the artist in question might benefit from additional training at an art academy and perhaps a brief encounter with law enforcement for their unconventional expression. 
The debate lingers whether this act of graffiti captures a stroke of genius for its boldness or merely showcases a reckless disregard for public spaces. In July 2018, the Howe Police Department investigated an incident at the Howe Athletic Complex where the exterior walls and fences had become the canvas for some questionable artistic endeavors. Utilizing red rust oleum painter's Touch 2X spray paint, which was discovered nearby, the perpetrators rendered a rabbit motif. This particular rabbit illustration featured hands on either side flashing gang symbols accompanied by the gang's name and year. However, the creative spree didn't end there. On a black fence with white spray paint, two additional rabbits were depicted, one brandishing a pipe and a cigarette, and the other showcasing a meticulously drawn face. Identifying the culprits might come down to spotting red paint stains on individuals associated with the gang, allowing the police to duly recognize their artistic contributions. Number 2. Drinks Cans They say that one man's trash is another man's treasure, in the case of aluminium soda and beer cans, however, most people would agree that one man's trash is still another man's trash. After all, what on earth are you supposed to do with a can once you've finished your drink, other than send it to recycling or a landfill? Well, you could give it to Noah Deletta, a sculptor from Detroit. When you think of sculptures, you probably think of wood, scrap metal, and wire. They form the basis of most contemporary artworks, but Noah decided to be a little different, and by doing so, he stood out from the crowd. Hats off to this forward-thinking young man. Noah takes a plain aluminium can and dents it, okay. Easy, right? Wrong. He dents them methodically and forms geometric shapes that turn a waste object into a work of art. Noah said the technique is scratch, dent, and crease, and the results are astounding. Each can is hand-dented, so there are no fancy machines to do all the hard work for him. He then displays them in a box on a stand, rotating for people to see all angles. Number 1. Creative Vandalism Vandalism is not always about destroying property and causing inconvenience to fix it. It can also be about enhancing something, seeing the beauty in it, and creating a work of art. Creative vandalism can be found everywhere, and here are some examples. In an area with no greenery, a beautiful dandelion growing out of bricks was protected by an eco-conscious person. They created a mini-gate system and a sign that says, do not touch, similar to what you would find in an art gallery. Another person drew a beautiful head and shoulders on a white fence, so the overhanging bush above looked like her hair. The result was impressive. Someone else used an image of Pope the sailor man on a fence to make it look like the green bush was spinach out of a can. As it turns out, vandalism doesn't have to be an eyesore. If you once believed you were a modern-day Picasso, have your opinions changed after viewing these acts of vandalism? Some of these random acts of destruction showcase remarkable creativity. Have you ever witnessed something similar or even these in person?